Hi all, thanks for watching. This is the 99th video of my Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough. And we're working on all that glisters, the main quest. So we're just going to get back in the game and continue on. Alright, so we're here at the inn. I decided to actually save it as I went to do this part here and for some reason Sir Ulrich attacked me. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I fired an arrow at someone who I wasn't supposed to and it made him aggressive. So I kind of went back to my save just before, saved it at the inn here and then I'm going to continue on with it at this point. Hopefully he won't attack us. I'm not really sure if that's part of the quest or if it was just something that happened. So we'll go and talk to him again, head back out to the counterfeiters camp, the workshop, and see what happens this time. I'll bring it right away. So here we just gotta are. find him here. Good help. Should be around here. Let's see, there he is right there. I finally found out where the Forger's workshop is. Master Fayfar was right. The Forger's are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. The entrance is on the eastern side of the hill. I've no idea what to expect there, but I'd rather go there with some backup. I will be glad to give in. Lead on. All right, excellent. So from the looks of this camp, when I accidentally ran into it last time, there was quite a few people here. So I'm pretty sure I'll need Ulrich's help. And I'm hoping that it was just kind of a, a glitch or something as to why he attacked me the first time. So let's head back over to the camp and see what happens this time. It should be just up there. Yep, there it is there. What's going on there? Here he is. You're okay. in the wrong place at the wrong time. What's the... What? You're Over dead! Here. running off okay let's loot some of these guys quick and where'd he run off to he must be chasing that guy well I never oh well, I there's never. another one Okay, let's move this over. Where'd Ulrich run off to? Oh, we'll put this stuff on the horse. Jeez, I've got so much looted gear, I'm really gonna have to take some time and sell all this stuff off. OK, 
keep a torch back. A lot of arrows here. Okay, we'll keep the best arrows. Those other ones over. Okay. What happened to Ulrich here? Uh, I don't see him. Kind of chased that one guy down. It's robbing. Oh, take all. Okay. Am I overweight? No, I'm good. Alright, I guess I'll just head into the cave here. I'm sure he'll catch up. Jesus Christ, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. And who's he? That's no concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. Please, don't take this personally. Wait! What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Why do you want to kill him? He may have valuable information. For that exact reason. My master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands, especially those of Radzik Kobila. You can tell your lord the man is dead. He'll never find out. But he will. Or do you think you can lock this man away from sight until Judgment Day? Why not? Do not be naive, boy. Look around you. This land swarms with rats and snakes, especially now. There is no secret that is not for sale. If I let you have him, my own head will be on a spike before the month is out. You don't have to go back to the Rosenbergs. How do you know about the Rosenbergs? Master Feyfar recognized the writing on your letter of passage. Just as I said, there is nothing safe from prying eyes in this land. And where would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzik's service. He needs people like you. I serve Kubila. Out of the question. If he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. In fact, I cannot. Why not? I am a knight without a crest, without allegiance. No one was meant to know whom I serve. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me, as I have many times before. Farewell, Henry. Auf Wiedersehen. Well, I didn't expect that. Okay. In here? Please, please. I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. You can talk all you like, but not here and not to me. Let's go.
Let's go. Master Fayfar is very keen to meet you. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Fayfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Ratai then. Uh, there's a tournament starting too. Okay, first off... Let's go store some of these items. Empty out our yeah. inventory. I guess I can put that torch out. Garlic, carrot, well, let's have a quick look. Yeah, just return to Rate to speak to Radzig. So we'll do that in a sec here. Yeah! I've got so much stuff stored, yeah. I'm going to have to go to several towns in order to sell it. And I'm going to have to go through, see if there's any actual items I can use that's better than mine. So let's move the equipment over from the horse. some shoes here just in case we run into anyone on the road I think I can actually move over and it leader spurs parakeets No, it doesn't really look like I have anything to move over to the horse. Oh, there's one. There's another kit. Move that spade over. Okay. And let's store the rest here. Holy <laughs> jeez. We got enough armor and stuff stored for a small army. horse carries a lot. Oh, ah! I was taking everything from my chest. Hang it. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's quite a bit of stuff. So we'll get this all put into the chest.
Okay, so I'm on my inventory yet. Holy, I didn't realize I had this much stuff. It's going to take me over an hour just to actually find enough traders to buy all this off me. And I got almost 60,000 in money already. Holy. Okay. Let's get rid of some of this. Actually, I'm going to keep those arrows. A couple of torches back. Okay, that looks good. What else do we have here? We've got quite a few treasure maps. I should go out treasure hunting again. Alright, that looks good. We'll just go sell some of this extra food we have. Let's see, innkeeper. Over here. Oh, you'll do. Good health to you. Okay, get rid of those. That should do. Excellent. Okay, so let's head back to Rete and talk to Radzik. So there's another tourney on the way. Although I'd like to actually just work on this quest at the moment. See how much of this we can get done. Uh, it's getting kind of late in the day. Let's see. Okay, this sounds like one of those fellows that might challenge you to a duel. Hey fellow, how about a little wager? Uh, can you give me some armor? What's the matter? Ah, nothing's the matter. I just like to pass the time of day with a fellow wayfarer. I see. What do you have in mind? We could have a little bout of combat, for the sake of practice. All right, why not? Finally, a taker. I hope you have coin, though. All right, so likely a mercenary. Oi, I have. Fine, let's go. All right. <laughs> Well, that was quick. Sakura. This is not my day. Here, take your coin and run along. He 
easy enough. Although I would have liked if it was a knight. Because then that would have actually got me a piece of armor. So what time of the day is it here? Alright, I think I'm going to ride into town. As time passes more yeah. slowly when you actually ride in game. This way, we should be able to get Sir Radzig before it gets dark. Actually, I wouldn't mind stopping at the blacksmith in order to get my stuff fixed up to yeah you know, I can get that done quick before going to see Sir Radzig okay let's run in and get some repairs quick with salt caraway seeds garlic and more you'll find it never... God grant you out how may I help you with you. Alright. That takes care of a few things. Fred Bates, just this morning. Fred. Uh he's already closed the shop. How about you. Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. Good health to you. God be with you. Yeah. Okay. Not much to repair. So let's go talk to Sir Radzig and see what happens now. Yeah. So he's usually on the third floor here. So let's go see if we can't find him. No, nope, not back here. Oh, he seems to be out in front. I must have missed him. over there. He looks like he might be on the battlements. Hey. Okay, let's check the battlements first. See if we can't find him over here. Damn! Not on the battlements. Oh, there he is right there. Excellent. <coughs> There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastards asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Sir, my investigation led me back to Scalitz, and I happened across a criminal there. I just wanted to report to you, sir, that I dealt with that murderer. He attacked me and... Well, I got the better of him. 
He won't be doing any more harm to anyone. That was a brave deed, Henry. Thank you. I see you've been doing an excellent job in my service. I sent a patrol there some time ago, and they never returned. No, that was uh, your honkers quest. <coughs> that was the fellow posing as a guard and killing everyone that came across him. Okay, let's go see if we can't find Captain Bernard before it gets too dark and get this taken care of. Yeah. So where is he? Okay, so he's over there. Yeah. Good day. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. Take care. Hey, where's your torch? You can't walk around here in the dark without a light. Really? I mean, indoors, I'm not walking around. Okay, so where to next? Right, so he must be in the cell there. Greetings. What do you need? See you later. Just thought I'd check to see if he had anything to say. But let's head over to the jail here. Let's see if we can't talk to this fellow. This is a storeroom. Hey, Henry, come to see us. <laughs> Talks to me like I'm an old friend. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor... You're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Let's see. Questioning. Maybe right. Okay. Well, I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzig and he might pardon you. But not unless you start talking. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. 
What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sasau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. Okay, crimps. Not really sure what a crimp is. I guess I'll look that up later. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sasau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sasau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps? You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sasau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, nah, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. Uh, so he does not want to be a criminal. He wants to turn his life around. But of course he's been captured. So that could be the reason. Okay, I can try, I guess. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. And what now? Back to Sir Radzig. What time is it? Uh, not really that late. Maybe I can make it back in time to talk to him. Yeah. Hopefully he's not gone to bed already. Okay, so his room should be up here, I'm pretty sure.
down here. So he seems to be somewhere around here. Not really sure. I think it's Someone too there. late. Is he in there? I must be going mad. Uh, Who are you? Pick it quick. Uh, dang it. Well, I never. Can you charge me? Oh, he doesn't seem to be here. Who's there? Shows he's this way. So I'm wondering. Is someone there? Must be the wind. <laughs> Must be the wind. That's locked. Hmm. Oh, what about in here? Oh, there he is. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring, and someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Jezek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Jezek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. So Jezak didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm... I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. 
and best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. All right, excellent. So we did manage to get everything done, even though it's late. And what do we have now? Okay, find out where the crimps meet in Sassu. Talk to the bailiff. Talk to the innkeeper at Tavern on the Green. And the innkeeper at the Wagoner's Inn. Okay, so I guess I gotta head out and mount up so I can fast travel. So let's see. Just want to check my player, my reputation. 84, okay. Ravna, zero. Brannock, zero. Hmm. Brannock. Okay. Alright, so let's head for Sisu. pretty late we will probably get there early and I'll still have to wait though but we'll see so I'm probably gonna miss this one tournament but hopefully when the next one comes up let's see waiting for someone Gonna tag me. Yep, Don't just abandoned it. Give me all you have. <laughs> You're dead. Here he comes. Oh, he's got. <laughs> oh. He's actually not a bad fighter. Ah! 
I'm bleeding. Jeez, this guy's tough. <laughs> It was tough. How many times did I hit him? Ah, oh, well, we're all the way back here now. Damn. Okay, let's head for Sisu. This time we won't make any stops on the road. Jeez. You know, some guys you can take them down so easy, and then you get these other guys that just take hit after hit, and they won't go down. I mean, look at the, the camp I went through there with Ulrich. We, we took those guys down no problem. This guy here, I was wailing on him. Well, he was wailing on me. <laughs> Gonna avoid that. Oh, and of course, fail. And let's see. This won't take long. So where am I at? Uh, Ledachiko. Okay, let's continue on here. Okay, I guess we'll have to wait a few hours here in order to talk to the bailiff. Don't want to break into his house. He won't talk to me then. 6 a.m. church bell. Good men, good wives, come have a look. Don't be shy, you'll never see such wives. 
Oh, he's not here. Let's have a look. Um, okay, find the crimps. Bailiff. Where's the bailiff at? Oh, it shows him okay, right there. Okay. Huh. Okay, actually, at this point, I think I'm going to save it. And, um, and then I'll question everybody, and we'll go on with the next part here. Because I'm not really sure how much longer this will take and what I'm going to get into on this next part. So just be safe, seeing as it's been around an hour so far. I don't want this video getting too long. So as I said, I'm just going to save it here. And then what we'll do is we'll start all our questioning in the next video and try and figure out where this camp of um, bandits and brigands are. All right. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If there are any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you in the next video.